Taking a look now at some of our Alaska news for this Friday morning, July 28th, 2017. It looks like the reaction from Senator Murkowski voting no on that procedural vote is having ripples as President Trump is now apparently threatening to take away Alaska projects because, well, basically in retaliation for Murkowski bucking his policy. China Hot Springs Road has seen more vandalism in mailboxes. In this particular case, uh, they've been using fireworks of some kind, pyrotechnics, to blow up the mailboxes. And, of course, the Postal Service is asking for help from the public in finding out who did it. But they're urging people not to go out and try to apprehend these perpetrators yourself. The investigation on that cruise ship down in southeast Alaska, remember we mentioned earlier this week that the FBI was called out to a Princess Cruise while it was still at sea. Turns out it was some kind of a domestic dispute in which a woman died on board the ship. I'm telling you, this is something that's going to be made into a movie someday. In the meantime, of course, we do express condolences to the families involved. State Senator Shelley Hughes has revealed that she has breast cancer, and we see that the legislature has apparently reached some kind of a capital budget, um, I don't know, agreement, compromise, something, which basically strips a lot of the money for the big mega projects like the Juno Access Project or the Kinnick Arm Bridge, but does fund oil tax credits and the Kivalina School. There was a massive black bear in the Juno area that got trapped in an Arctic entryway of a mobile home. Uh, this is actually, but she's been a problem bear. The bear's been around for quite some time, several years, in fact, getting into trouble in this particular case because it got trapped in the home and was tearing the place up. Uh, fishing game decided to dispatch the bear because it has been, well, it has a track record of being destructive. There are more stories than we have time for, of course. If you'd like to get a 30 to 40 minute version, you can check out the website, radiofreespeech.com. A couple of other stories I will mention in passing is that as more seniors are staying here in Alaska, they are anticipating higher rates of Alzheimer's and dementia, which I guess stands to reason. Um, there are a number of facilities in Alaska and more being built right now. Also, the owners of the new Palmer Slaughterhouse have resorted to importing cattle from Canada just to stay in business because there aren't enough locally grown beef. Well, or pigs or whatever else, just not enough locally grown meat to satisfy the, the need for a slaughterhouse. So they're importing cattle specifically to slaughter them on the premises, at least until there's enough local farms producing cattle once again here in Alaska. You got a news tip for me? Send me an email, steve at radiofreespeech.com.